the library, the schools, but and, and not looking at industrial development, maybe there isn't any. But then maybe put that money into into transportation. Anyway, I don't mean to go on too long, but uh, keep going, Maggie. Somebody's got to type all this. Make a word out of money. What did you say? Somebody's got to type all this. Oh, <laughs> somebody does have to type all this, really, but nobody has to read it. No one's going to read it. But we know what's going on, but you may have a conversion experience because you know what's happening is not right. I know it. Our heart tells us what's going on. And there's a lot of things going on that are not right. There's people really trying hard to do something about that, and there's people trying even harder who have the power in their hands to make sure that doesn't happen. But there is a force more powerful. Hi, my name is Anthony Bainey, and uh, I've looked in each and single one of your board members' eyes and had conversations with you, I don't know how many times, I've talked to you guys on camera, and this is ridiculous, you guys will pass this project, we already know, I mean, you guys passed the South Elmwood LLC project that we didn't like, you guys passed the Millennium Hotel that we didn't like, we've been doing this uh, shenanigans for quite a while, hey, and I'm glad you guys left me as a quarter, at least you didn't outsource this job, I, mean, I was thinking I was going to get a cell phone, talk to some guy from India, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> but anyhow, um, like I said, you guys are going to pass this project, and uh, this summer is going to be really fun, because a lot of kids are bored. <laughs> angry and poor. <laughs> and I will fill up this boardroom. I will fill up this boardroom. I will make that my duty this summer to fill up this boardroom. I promise you that. I promise you that. I don't care if I have to throw a festival outside of the street <laughs> if I have to. One thing about music, it brings people together. Yes. And Mr. Paladino, I'll leave you with this. We're all madder than hell. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy Malzahn from Hammer. Um, one other thing I'd like you to consider when you're deciding projects to pass in the future after you pass this one, um, <laughs> if you could reach out to uh, energy sources like the wind stuff that's going yeah. on in Hammer. Whoever's doing that, maybe they would like some tax breaks and stuff mm -hmm. to develop that further, to train people in that and to hire people in that and have more wind turbines and stuff like that, or else in solar power roofing and stuff like that. I know there was one company nationally that didn't work, but there's a lot that could, and Buffalo does have the sun. It does. Even when it's snowing, the sun comes out. So that would be great if we could develop those kinds of industries, and that would be a great future for this area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good morning, my name is Leslie Haynes and I came this morning to express my concern. Um, in particular, I'm concerned about, um, well, Mr. Palladino's history is very well documented because of the Buffalo News. They, they, uh, they put him on the pages many, many times. Uh, one of the things that I did learn when he was running uh, for office was that um, he had a lot of money and he was spending it on that particular campaign. Uh, I read that he uh, spent three million of his own money. Uh, of course, one, everything that we read does not necessarily have to be true, but I do believe that if it wasn't three, it was probably in that, in that vicinity. So the concerns that I have, other things that I've read, and they were quite documented well in the local newspaper, where the uh, amount of monies that he owes the city in, um, in the um, not repairing his buildings and the um, uh, just many, many, uh, th there was a very well documented article um, that he owes the city a lot of money. That he flagrantly has disregard for the taxes, for the um, uh, penalties, for the late fees, etc., etc. So I'm just wondering why, if he um, owes so much money to the local, uh, to us, the taxpayers, let me put it that way, why we would even consider giving him a grant. Mm -hmm. And um, 
So this is this is my my concern. Uh, one of the things that I do in my day to day um, work in the community, I work with um, uh, homeless people, many of who are uh, veterans, Vietnam veterans. Many of the homeless, uh, many of the young veterans are homeless. The young mm -hmm. people coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan who are in their twenties and may have PTSD and um, are homeless because they cannot find a job locally. Um, they're standing on, I, I, one of the, two of the things that I do um, are handing out food and they are standing in line. Mm -hmm. It's prim primarily men. I, I know that there are homeless women out there but primarily the ones that I meet are men. And um, so I would just like to say that I would like to see the money um, and, and also, we, um, I, I am with a group that we're trying to, Western New York veterans, where we're trying to get housing for homeless veterans, and in particular, those who might have um, um, disabilities and who have PTSD. So again, I'd like to bring up the name of Carl Palladino. It's not, a, not in my eyes, and I'm a taxpaying citizen, right here in Buffalo, I live right downtown. I am not um, in favor of giving him, a multimillionaire, any grants or uh, any monies from the taxpayers' monies, or from the local monies, when we have so many other, other groups that are mo far more, I, I only named the veterans but in the, in the homeless, but there are so many, 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 many more groups mm -hmm that should be considered. And um, so I'd like to go on record stating that. Thank you. It's literally one time. Sorry. I, I, Victoria Ross, I. <laughs>